Hi everybody. So hopefully this video will work. I am testing out a new um, sound thing. I guess you could say microphone. I, um, I'm going to go ahead. This is a Temu haul, but I'm going to show you why my sound is much better now. Because I went to the bin stores and I was able to find a wireless, um, there you go, a wireless laver or lavaler microphone. So I went ahead and um, hooked it up to my camera. I have a Canon M50 and it worked. <laughs> well, I tested it out. It worked. So hopefully it's working now as I'm filming. So um, it's great because now you can't hear the air conditioner slash heater that I'm sitting practically next to in the, you know, what's in the next room. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So today I have a Temu haul. Now I've already filmed this video before, but because the sound quality was so bad, I am going to go ahead and refilm it. Um, so this was the bag and it came, you know, it came really messed up. Um, when I would get stuff from Shein, it never came like this. I mean, look at this. I don't know why they taped it the way they did. So I went ahead and took everything out. So that way um, it'll just be easier. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first things that I have here are washi sets. Okay. Sorry about the lighting. I'm going to bring them up a lot closer because now that um, I can't pull out my, um, the little screen on my camera because the microphone, this is so stupid. I wish they put the microphone thing, the jack on the other side, because then I could pull the, um, the, the screen out. So it's easier for me to go ahead and you know, make sure everything's in focus by touching the screen. Now I have to do this standing up. Um, anyways, this first set that I purchased, um, I don't know why I'm buying more washi, but I just couldn't help it. These were really nice. This is kind of like a constellation um, theme. And I believe this set was less than $5. It was, I think, one of their lightning deals. I'm not sure. But um, I'll go ahead and take one out just to show you how much washi you get on a roll. I mean, it's not a lot, but then again, you know, you're not really going to need a lot if you think about it, especially with this many. The only drawback to this set is the skinny washi, which I almost never use, but at least, you know, they only gave two. I mean, these sizes are okay, but I really like this. What drew me was this one right here, Moon Magic, because I'm a cancer. I'm like a triple cancer, um, cancer and sun and in, um, moon. So yeah, I like this set. So I'm probably going to use it more in my Hobonichi, if anything. The second set is more of a vintage look. Um, what drew me to this set? I think this right here, like the travel. Um, I like that one and the map. Um, yeah, I don't care for the skinny washi, but the quality of this, when I had pulled it out, it's not bad. I mean, it's pretty sticky, so it will stay stuck to the, you know, the paper. So yeah, I got those two. I'm trying to really avoid buying any more washi because I have so much, but, um, at least these come in cases. So it's easy for me to just store away. So moving on to more washi, this is the last two. So these are, um, well, this one right here are labels as you can see, which I also plan to use in my um, Hobonichi. And I just kind of like that look. I want to say that this was a dollar maybe. And then this one here is um, PET tape or pet tape. Hold on. I'm trying to get it in focus. So it's clear. So um, you have to cut out the design. Sorry. There we go. You'll have to cut the design out that you want to use. I'm not going to unfurl these because I tend to like to keep, um, peel these off and put them in my Hobonichi dish. I don't know. It's just a way of cataloging it. Okay. So the next things that I got were enamel pins. Now these two right here, the enamel pins were like 79 cents, I think. And I purchased these because I'm going to give them to my friend Clarissa because <laughs> she loves foxes. And then the other two that I got, let's put these over here. I'm going to give to my other friend, Kat, who loves all things cat. So these are really cute. 
I thought that was adorable. The quality is not bad. I mean, I did buy some um, backings from um, Amazon that are supposed to be much more secure because that's the problem I have with enamel pins. They tend to fall off because the backings are not very secure. And the last one that I got is a Sailor Moon theme. So that's um, Serena and Darian. I'm, obviously, I'm using the uh, Western names, but yeah, I thought this was really pretty. Okay, moving on. So I have here, these are um, stickers, but they're, they're cat tarot card theme. Okay, so as you can see, oh, I don't know what happened here. So that one, yeah, they're stickers because that just came off right there. But I thought they were adorable and they were 99 cents, I think. I'm probably going to give this to Kat and then just order myself another set. Sorry, I'm trying to wait for it to get in focus. Hold on. There we go. So I, I'm assuming there's 72. I can't remember how many are in this pack. So, um, but they're very, very cute. And then we have here, as if I need more labels, um, this was... Maybe $1.50. I really can't remember the name, the prices of the uh, items that I purchased. I know I spent less than $50 and it was free shipping. Um, this was my first Temu haul. Okay. So we got those. And then I also got this. Um, let me turn it around. This is a wax seal set. I think this was five bucks. And look at how many you get. This is amazing. Um, I really like that design. And then you've got like the Cupid's bow. You have the heart with the wings. You have like a piece of candy. And uh, looks like it could be like a perfume stopper with the heart on the top. And then of course you get the handle. And then there's one in here with the Sakura. So that's really nice. You know, I mean, you're getting six, you know, seals. So it was worth the purchase and then we got more stickers which i don't need but hell i'm just gonna go ahead and get them anyways so i believe these were sorry there we go um 99 cents each so these are like 1950 style maybe um i want to get closer hopefully this is focusing it's kind of hard to tell on the small screen but they're color themed. So this was obviously blue, green. Let's see. This was like maybe um, yellow, I guess. Black. And this was pink. So I got the entire color palette that they offered. Okay. And then the last bit that I got here more stickers as if I need them. But these are always my favorite to get. Okay, I'm going to try to stick to... Okay, so these two right here. I, I just love the fact that all of these are kind of Asian, you know, girls. And yeah, I like to use these in my Hobonichi Traveler's Notebook when I'm doing junk journaling, you know. Um, I always want to have, you know, a ton on hand. I probably have like several packs from Shein, but I want to make sure that I always have plenty because you never know when they stop carrying them. These are like, I think I've seen these. This this particular one is pretty popular. I think it's the La Dolce Vita, you know, uh, I think that's what they were called, the theme or the, I don't know, whatever. But they're kind of hard to find. And these include like a larger one larger stickers, but it's okay. I still like these. So I've been looking for some like this for cheap because I think the original ones are just too expensive. They're are overpriced. And then I got these. Okay. So you got beautiful, youthful, gorgeous, and attractive. And then on the back, it shows the different designs. And once again, uh, mostly Asian, um, And I love using these. So I, I'm, I usually will store them in a container like this. 
I, I purchased the this one from Shein last year, but I have a ton of these that I got from the bin store. Like I would like find a big bag of like 12 of them for, and then I get them for six bucks. So, you know, that's what I'm going to do with um, all these stickers to make it easy to, um, to store away. So that is my first haul from Temu. Um, now that I've gotten my sound quality fixed, I can start making more videos. <laughs> that was part of the reason why I wasn't filming a lot was because I just, you know, I just hated the fact that the sound quality was just not so good. Let me turn off this light and see if this is any better. Eh, it's a little dark, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so I plan on filming a lot more and posting more. So I hope everybody's had a great weekend and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Thank you.